Hello everyone, and welcome to another Joe Builds Warhammer. I uh, wanted to thank you all, first and foremost, for getting me to over 200 subscribers. Uh, it it does mean a lot. I know to some people that might mean silly, or be a little silly, but it means a lot to me. Uh, thank you very much. Today I'm going to build the two Crypto Thralls from the Indomitus set. I believe they're the only things left on this sprue that used to have uh, the Canopatech reanimator and a few of the characters. I've got my glue, I've got my clippers, and I've got my trusty X-Acto blade. I've actually switched out the blade since last time. I know that's super exciting, but it was getting a little dull, so I fixed that. So these guys have a surprisingly large amount of parts. Six? I guess size doesn't really matter much in Warhammer for how complex the kit is. And unlike the previous ones, and I know I say this every time, I'm going to do my best uh, not to mess it up and also not to have my wrist in front of the camera like that. So eight through nine. If you hear a thumping in the background, it is one of my cats trying to get attention by opening the bathroom cabinet and letting it close over and over and over. So please pardon the noise. If it gets really bad, I'll just go grab him and rub its belly. All right. These guys, they really stood out to me when I saw them uh, on the Indomitus previews, and I think they were showed in leaks because they kind of looked like little jet engine Necron dudes. I don't know any better way to describe that, but I really liked it. It was just, they stood out so much. And the reason I stopped playing Necrons way back when is because I got a little bored with them. They were all very similar. There were very few kits. They were old kits. I set that big sprue aside and get to trimming. I loved the play style. You know, having this really durable shooting force that slowly crosses the field. A little bit of close combat if you want through wraiths. Um, if I remember right, destroyer lords were pretty good. Um, but another reason was conversion opportunities. It, they didn't strike my imagination like renegades and heretics, any chaos army, or space wolves. And lately I've been thinking about playing a shooty army and not space marines because I've already got Death Guard and I've already got Space Wolves. And they're both pretty big armies looking behind me. They take up a lot of my collection. So I kind of want something Xenos. And the thought of going back to Necrons, I mean, they're right in front of me. I've been building them for a while. Why not? So I've been looking up some battle reports and watching how they play. I think I'm going to wait till October, because if you didn't hear, the Codex uh, were announced for Space Marines and Necrons to be released in October. Which it is... is it the day before? August is in two days. So we still have a little while, two months. Knowing Games Workshop, they will come out Halloween night for pre-order. I don't remember... I don't know if you all remember the... Um, what was it? That Orktober one year. It was this big month of orcs. And they hyped it all up and it was going to be great. It's going to be great. All the new orc stuff. And then it uh, went up for pre-release the last weekend of the month. This is a cool bit. I've noticed a lot of the new Necron things have that kind of central power core. Uh, the Candle Protector Reanimator stands out the most as having it. It's honestly been a long time since I built the other ones. Um, so I'll probably go back and build some more. I will plan on doing another video today, because this is a pretty quick one. And let's get a little glue on it. Oop. Whoa. Pop that right in that socket. Oh, geez. Goes in nice and smooth. Put glue in there. Now, I will admit that I've already assembled 
my set of Assault Intercessors, but luckily I have another set to assemble. Oh, sorry about the condition of my fingernails. So, I will make sure to do a recording of at least half of them. I also learned a little bit more about video editing for the purpose of uploading to YouTube. So I should be able to improve on that. What are these little guys? I wonder, are those details for the sake of detail or are they supports? Let's, let's put this on and see if we can find out. Oh, hey, there we go. There's a little divot right in there that this piece of the spine, you want a little, get a little glue on that. So you want another peg, and then that little rectangular part. Okay, yeah, it's ooh, a little snug, but I got a gap there, and I got to figure out what's causing it. Oh, I think it's just I need to put some glue on that. So, oop. I don't think that really got in there. There we go. I'm just going to wipe that clean. Hold it there for a few seconds to see if it'll bond and not do that weird stringy thing that plastic glue does. Ugh. While I hold that, I'll move over. Put a little glue on both of those points and, ooh, getting a big droplet. That right there. And then so I'm kind of wiggling it to try to get the secondary peg in because it didn't feel like it lined up right. I'm looking at the back. I... Maybe it did. Maybe those aren't supposed to connect. Well, I've definitely had a slightly more challenging time assembling the Necrons. I think that's mostly just because they've got thinner little wobbly bits Trying to get the light in there to see if, I think they're lined up right. And wobbly bits, at least for me on push tight models are always more difficult because well, first they break easy, but then I think I overcompensate for the fear of them breaking and end up making mistakes. All right. That is a cool little dude. Let's pop him on a 32 mil base. These guys are sweet. Just running around with their, oh man, legit like Necron legs. Or um, those are kind of like the arms from Wraiths. All right, that's one done. Let's see about the second guy. And I'll take a look at the rules while I do this. So I can see if... Oh, there I go, putting my wrist in front of the camera. <laughs> um, you know, see if I like what I see and I'd pick up Necrons, I might... Well, actually, I just subbed to the Warhammer app because if you sub before Saturday, and I, I need to confirm this, uh, I believe you get a free month of it. Which, if it turns out to be what Games Workshop said it was going to be. Uh, that's pretty dang nice. I gave it a little check last night, and I was able to look up rules for some Forge World stuff pretty easily. I cried a little. Uh, why not? I looked up rules for Renegades and Heretics, and there was nothing. So I'm kind of holding out like the Salamanders when Vulcan was in trouble with uh, my Renegades that Renegades will live in the form of a codex. I can hope, right? I mean, we got plenty of minis for it already, just through specialist games. Or a uh, dark mech. But, you know, if I do dark mech, why not just play Necrons? It's basically what Mechanicus already is, is just... They're like raccoons to Necrons. They go in, they steal some Necron garbage, and then they live in it. But they do have some cool minis. You know, I haven't seen too many mold lines on these guys. And that's really nice. I was just trying to paint a few warriors to recreate my old Necron scheme that I showed off a while ago. 
And after this guy, I'll show you the outcome. Uh, warning, I'm not too happy with it. It's all right, but I think that paint style is actually one of the things that led me to kind of stop Necrons is I did something really basic and easy because they're robots. And I've seen some beautiful things done with the Indominus box. Uh, just gradients and metallics in ways I've never seen. And it's really inspired me to try to do something superb and you know, really take time and effort with every individual mini like I do with my space wolves. I mean, my demons, it's, I gotta paint like 90 plague bearers, so I'm not gonna spend all day, and I've got it down to where I can just really quickly paint them. Uh, with my death guard, I'd say they take about a moderate amount. Okay, I think that one went on pretty dang well. But that thing didn't line up. Death guard or moderate speed, it's easy to get their base coat grime done, but then they have a lot of details. A lot of chains, a lot of little knives all over. And then Space Wolves are kind of my hobby, army, pride, and joy. So I spend a lot of time on them. But if I put that kind of investment into Necrons, I think they could be gorgeous. Oh yeah, these little guys are fun. Let's see if I can get one of the new Space Marines and an old Space Marine to put next to them. One second. They're pretty big duders, but they really feel small, and I can't put my finger on why. They just feel like they're tiny little dudes, but they tower over the old marines. They're not like super tiny, but huh, that's weird. I guess compared to all the huge stuff in the Necron box. Okay. So this is how I used to do my Necrons back in the days of 6th edition. Purple's my favorite color, so I did a purple metallic where I mixed, uh, I think, purple wash, some metal paint, and then I crushed some uh, Christmas ornaments for the base, and I was happy with them. So I tried to do a quick recreation of it in about five minutes. And I'm not too sold on light blue. Uh, in this case, I painted them, I want to say silver. And then I watered down a purple, I'm looking for it now. Uh, what was it called? Shaiish Purple Contrast Paint and ran it through an airbrush and did a quick coat. And honestly, I like how it came out. It emulated the old one, but is a bit more shiny. But when I started putting the little details on it, I kind of looked at it and said, eh, if I do this, I'm going to do it nicely. So hopefully I'll have something really cool to show off with painting Akrons. Here are the Crypto Thralls. Um, they look kind of beefy. Weapon skill four kind of stinks. Ballistic skill four kind of stinks. They move five. They've got good strength and toughness. Honestly, they've got a good solid stat line. They look at you with their eye. Oh, geez, look at that. Look at that. His eye is all open and ready to shoot, and his eye is kind of not. So these are like, in my head canon now, the, uh, the old Muppets that used to judge movies, and they're just, like, evil, giving you the stink eye. Uh, let's see here. Protectors. Oh, wow. These guys seem pretty cool, and I like their special rules. They, you can't target a crypt tech if these guys are within three of them. So that kind of avoids the new lookout, sir. And then, okay, so yeah, they're bodyguard. If they're within three of or six of a crypt tech, they get a butt ton of attacks. Holy cow! Six attacks, and they change their weapon skill and to skill to three. So keep these grumpy guys next to your Cryptek, and they'll do pretty good. That's awesome. That makes me hopeful for them. All right. Well, that is it for the Crypto Thralls. Thank you again for helping me pass 200 subscribers. And uh, I'll get another video going in just a moment. And get them uploaded overnight. Have a good one.